Hello, um, it's Pastor Ojimba Alex, and um, actually, I just come back from preaching myself. I was at um, Woolworth Road, and I was at a supermarket called Morrison's. I wrote about it on um, Facebook, and um, I'm just grateful to God because I managed to complete the assignment. Today, I want to talk about a topic which is called Miracle Money, and. Um, about five years ago I was listening to a great pastor who goes by the name of Pastor Chris and he was talking about miracle money how miracle money can happen in your life but at the time I didn't really understand it but now I've become a pastor a lot of things has happened to me and I just want to share my experiences on miracle money about what's happened to me um, this year I just wanted to say that um, I've been working from January 2016 I had a good job I was with the Evening Standard and I was with them for like four months but I lost that job and what I mean I wouldn't really say that my contract was terminated I would just say that um, I had an argument with the industry and they told me to leave and that was it and um, I remember I was a bit downhearted and I went to my bank account two weeks after my contract was ended and I went to my bank account and there was nothing in there so I don't like to use the word broke but I was a bit disappointed when I went to my bank account in Barclays Bank and there was no money in there whatsoever I just didn't have no money and I was walking around without no money in my pocket and I was thinking to myself what am I gonna do to make money because I need to buy some certain things you know we live in a material world and I wanted to buy some certain things but I just didn't have the money and I, I was getting a bit worried, I was getting worried, but I never told people about my condition. But sometimes people would look at me and they would ask me, are you all right? I'd just smile and say, <laughs> yeah, of course I'm all right. But deep down, I just didn't have no money. I was a bit worried. And um, it got to a point where it became pressurizing. It was a bit pressurizing. It was becoming too much pressure. Even where I lived, my house, the rent kept on accumulating and the rent was getting higher and higher accumulating and it was pressure i wouldn't really say i was going mad or i was going crazy but it was something to think about and um it's like um two weeks later the television license came and it was piling up all these bills even the bailiffs sent me a letter saying i owe them thousands of pounds and um i didn't know what i was gonna do i was contemplating this thing and i was thinking okay I don't really have no money for my job. I haven't even got no money saved up. How am I going to get? And these people were pressurizing me. It got to a point where they even gave me a deadline, a date. And they said, um, I have to go to the magistrate's court. So I thought to myself, okay, I'm going to go to the magistrate's court on the 17th. I was meant to go to the magistrate's court on the 17th of March 2016 and I prepared myself I didn't even know what I was gonna say in court I thought this thing might even lead to jail but I said okay let me go to my bank account one more time and see if I can get like at least one pound because I wanted to buy a drink like um, a tango drink or a Fanta drink and I thought to myself even if I got a pound in my bank account let me just see if I can buy a drink and I remember a day prior to the magistrate's court's deadline, I went to Barclays Bank and I was asking the cashier to tell me my balance. I thought she was going to tell me I had a pound in my bank account or 50p and it was my turn and she said hang on and she went into my bank account and I mean what she told me I didn't really expect it. I don't know where the money came from. Suddenly there was like too much money in my bank account. And I said to her, can you write it down for me? And she wrote it down for me. And I said, you sure you got that from my details? Is that in my bank account? She said, yeah. I said, but how did the money come into my bank account? She said, no, I'm just telling you. That's um, your balance. There was so much money in my account in its thousands. I don't even know where the money came from. And there was a long queue behind me in Barclays Bank. I started screaming in the bank. I started screaming so loud. I said, no, 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 no. This is miracle money. 
I said, this is miracle money. I said, no, no, it's miracle money. It's miracle money. People are even telling me, people are even saying, calm down, calm down, you're too loud. Security came and they were pulling me out. I said, no, 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 it's, mir it's miracle money. God has put money in my bank account. I don't know how the money got into my bank account. They literally had to pull me out of the bank. Even before I come out of the door, I put my head through the door and I, I screamed for the last time. I said, it's miracle money. <laughs> I couldn't believe it myself. So I'm just here to say that right now, I paid off the bailiffs, I paid off the bills, I paid off the magistrate's court, where the money came from, I don't know. I paid off the television license, I paid off my rent that's gone into its thousands. And you know what? To be honest with you, today I just finished preaching the word of God and I went to go and pay for my church because I've got a, a church now. Gospel Faith Ministry, I've got a physical church. I mean, the woman I was meant to pay the money to, she wasn't there because she said I missed my appointment. But this is like the change. I'm going to show it to you. This is like the change from that miracle money. Remember, I paid the thousands of pounds to pay off my debt. And I just want to say that God is great. So look, this is English money. This is miracle, this is miracle money. I never worked for this money. I don't, don't ask me how this money came into my bank account because... I don't know, look, money man, that's what God's doing, pure money, and the woman said, okay, you know what, you're pure money, this is strong currency, miracle money, and God said, and the woman said, no, 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 you didn't, you missed your appointment, but come back, look, this is the change, I've been spending thousands of pounds in less than a week, I don't know how that money came into my bank account, so it's the same money from that miracle money that I'm going to use to do the sponsorship for charities in Africa. So I'm going to do it. But like I'm saying, I never saw that money coming. I never saw that miracle money coming. This miracle money, look, it came at the right time. I didn't ask anybody to borrow me, to lend me a loan or whatever. God was there for me at the right time. To be honest with you, I almost gave up. It was becoming too much. Miracle money. He did it. And I'm just here to say that the, the topic I'm talking about today is miracle money. And I want to say that if God can do it for me, he can do it for you. And I just want to praise and thank God. When Pastor Chris was teaching miracle money, he knew what he was talking about. Look, it happened to me. I, I keep on doing the same thing. Maybe I'm excited. Miracle money. <laughs> yeah, look, miracle money. Miracle money even got me a church. It paid off my bills and it's got me a church. Thank you. God bless you. Miracle money in Jesus' name. Thank you. Amen.